Finally, I caught you. Is something wrong, Sarah? I have something I'd like the Knights of Favonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. We're like peas in a pod. Really? It must be a good feeling knowing Jean's got your back. Heck yeah. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. So you want us to teach? So you want someone to teach those cilanters a lesson? What? No! How is that yeah. going to help? I'll beat him up. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Sure. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles, the bartender, said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. Ooh, Master's Day's off. Okay. Okay, anyway, let's go and talk to Charles now. What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? Yeah. <sighs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes! You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Is that Jung Lee's voice actor, Kate Silverstein? Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great! Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. Do you really need to get Jean involved with this stuff? And yet the Dawn Winery is somehow so very rich. That's mostly down to Master D. Luke's successful business model. Why are the accounts with Jean? Does she do bookkeeping now too? Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Hyman never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow. How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? That's pretty true. Tell him, Paimon. <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. You should. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Tell him, Paimon. Come on, let's go and see Jean. This is like the one time I think I actually agree with Paimon on anything. Because Jean is definitely so overworked. Like, even just from like the Mondstadt story, so overworked. Pass the citizens' commissions on to Jean. Okay. I don't have Jean yet on this account, and I want Jean. I love Jean. She's a great character. Okay, let's go over here. Is this where I'm going? No, why is it doing a commission? Oh my god, it's showing me where a commission is. Oh my god. We'll have to cut that out. <laughs> Day off. Why is it telling me about freaking commission? I don't want the daily commission. Oh my god. I was like, I know where I'm going. Because, like, that's the Adventurer's Guild down there. I was like, why am I going down there? I should have trusted my gut and went to the Knights of Pavonius headquarters. Damn. <laughs> hey, you two. Margaret? What are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? You mean Diona? No, not her. I imagine Diona's probably still in the tavern. I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home, now he's gone. Did you seriously think Diona was a house cat? Yeah, to be fair. <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? 
I would love to help, but... But we're on our way to an urgent meeting with Jean. Sorry. You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. You're gonna go see if the acting grand sage... Ma no, that's Sumeru. Acting grand master or something will help you find a cat? Don't you think she has more important things to do? Seriously? Exactly. You want Jean to help look for your cat? That's ridiculous. What's wrong with that? You're an idiot. That's what's wrong with that. Jean's a really nice person. Even so, she is literally in charge of the whole of Mondstadt, and you want her to go look for a freaking cat? Oh my god. I feel like this is the case of good people finish last. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. But aren't we underage? Hey! Hey! Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! That's so ridiculous. Oh my god. That's so ridiculous. That actually makes me kind of mad, because, like, Jean has so much on her plate. That's ridiculous. I need you to help me find my cat. Like, what? Imagine asking Barka, the headmaster, whatever they're called, whatever the title is. Oh my god. Y'all are ridiculous. <clears throat> uh, well, now she's sick. Grandmaster? Uh. Oh. Uh, Master Jean? Oh. <gasps> Master Jean? <laughs> hey, Jean. Jeannie Jean Jean. Oh, it's our honorary night. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> She's literally sick. Look at her. She's literally sick. I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <clears throat> make arrangements accordingly. Great! Look at her. She's literally we didn't sick. We miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's Hilly Churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. You forgot an extra Jean? Jean, are you okay? It's okay, I can voice act. Something's wrong with Jean, and you bring her to the cathedral in search of assistance. Are you gonna bring her to her sister? <laughs> bring her to Barbara. Oh, literally. How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. She really has it tough, doesn't she? Poor Jean. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the Master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? Barbara said, do this for my sister, bitch. That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. She wants that sister time. What is that? Sister time. Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. Okay, well, I'm sure Barbara doesn't get to spend a lot of time with Jean anyway. So let's go back to the headquarters. I love how this just turns into, like, me having to do everything, because as the protagonist of stories, we always have to do everything for everybody else before we can, like, accomplish our goals. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Could load a little bit faster. Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, why is he clapping for me? I don't like that he was clapping in my ear. I'm not Barbara. I'm Mona. Or Raiden. Or Farina. Or Kaya. But I feel like it's kind of more appropriate since we're at the uh, Knights of Favonius. But I don't, I'm not a big Kaya fan, not gonna lie. Oh, it's Kaya! 
speak of the devil. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Dang, I said his name and here he is. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, he seems worried. In addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. Is this the part where you give us your reward? <laughs> I must say I like your style. I like rewards. But before we can discuss a reward, there are some things I hope you can assist the knights with. Of course. Things like helping to fill in for Jean? Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... to prepare. <gasps> like what? Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See you. What? Why did you... Why did it just stop like that? Oh, there he goes. Oh, I like that they actually made him go in. But, um... What the heck? It literally just stopped the dialogue. I feel like some of these quests have some, like, little bit of funkiness to it. Especially the, uh, beginning quest. I feel like there's a little bit of funkiness to it. Okay, well, anyway, let's go get Sarah first, since she was the first person we talked to. Maybe I'll do them in order. Oh, Amber's here. Got it. I'll set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly trails on the delivery route? Oh. Why are you saying? Sarah, sighing? what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Then why don't you get another employee? Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> Is there anything we can do to help? Really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, Weird title. those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure she can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. Why not shut the hell up? We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the good hunter's business. You think I can't cook, Paimon? I'm gonna cook you. A fight? <sighs> for this dish we need... Three sweet flowers and three fowls. I have that. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, oh yes, okay. Right. I have that, though. Nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef. Never mind a sous chef. Hmm. Since you cook so well, uh, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. Sticky honey roast? Paimon's sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. That's right, a mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <laughs> as soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. I'm still waiting on one sticky honey roast. Yeah, I got it. This is... Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything else. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. 
She said she wants to make me a cook. Damn. <laughs> okay, that's Sarah done. Hello? Okay, so that's it. So let's now go over to Charles. Charles was second, so that's pretty easy. So Charles needs something to do with drinks or something? I don't even remember. And it was only a few minutes ago when he told us what he needed. Hello, Lisa! Hello, cutie! Throw it back on her. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool! Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Oh. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Wondering what? Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. Great. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? Ah... <sighs> It came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, uh, Ernest. Who is that? He's 500 away! <laughs> okay, let's go over to the statue and then we'll just head there from here. Might as well, might as well. Doot, doot, doot. Okay. Oh, they flew away. Here, give me this one. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Condensed resin. Need it. <laughs> okay, let's go find Ernest. Alright, over here in the gorge, I'm guessing. I don't know what this is called. Oh, he's got a transport balloon. So I guess I'm gonna have to beat up some monsters for him. At least Lisa took care of the tax return. Yeah! Charles's delivery disappeared too. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by Hilly Churls. <sighs> if you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Bro, you better hush your lip. Fear not! My friend here is a Hilly Churl exterminator extraordinaire! Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. I'll be waiting up ahead. You better quit with that attitude, boy. Boy? Uh, this way. Okay. Oh, I see you. Boop. 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 Any more? Yep. Dodge this. Dodge this. Shadows of. Okay, let's go try to break this. Shine down. <laughs> My Raiden hits the most, so I'm gonna be using Raiden for the most of this. Okay, anything? Oh, hello. There is no There's one over here too. Smack. And then we're gonna Illusion smack shepherd. him. And then I'll just use this over here, because why not? We're just gonna yeah. do a little bit of Oop. Into destiny. Fate is upon And then we're gonna do a little bit. Now Oop. you shall perish. Shine down. Nice. <laughs> Dang, you take forever to come on. This is like the slowest balloon I think I've ever seen. Oh my oh. god. Does it think that I'm underleveled or something? Because it's like giving me a lot of time to like hit the hilly chills and whatnot. I'm just gonna heal up, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, it's taking forever. Come on now. You're all good. You're all good. I guess I can blow myself up or something. No, actually, I can do this. Yeah, I can do that. And then I can do this. Oh. Yeah. Hello. I hate when they put the archers up here. Illusion shattered. 
And then we're just gonna come over here. Do a little bit of boop. And a little bit of boop. Shine down. Oh, we got a big guy. Let the world cry. Yeah. Oh Don't god. Frostbite. You're really gonna pick this up. I hate the dendro guy. Illusion Whatever those guys are called. Come on now. There is no escape. There is no escape. Why is there a little guy over here? Get over here. Get out of here. Okay, should be over here. The end. Come on, Mr. Balloon. Hey, I... Come on, Mr. Balloon. Come on now. Thank you. Okay, there's Charles. Or Thank Ernest. Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Mm-hmm, thanks. Binti! So, yours is the cat that went missing. Venti! Have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary. It is I who needs the helping. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right? Spoken like a true parent who chooses to spoil their said rascal. Indeed. Just like Barbados. <laughs> yes, quite. Quite. <clears throat> now. Let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness, Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. What? Yeah. These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. Oh my god. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animal energy? That'll help us. It's time for you to use your elemental sight again. I'm unsure there must be some elemental footprints or something. Thank mm -hmm. you all. Prints should be somewhere around the marketplace or the residential area. It's a black cat you're looking for. Uh, oh, take this fish. It's Little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Well, okay. Okay, click and hold. Oh, wrong button. Oh, oh, Little Paw Prince. Oh, that's so cute. This way. So we have to throw the fish hey, at him. That black cat looks really familiar. Haven't we seen it in the cat's tail before? Oh, yep, that's Prince, all right. No, fishy. Fishy, oh shit. Did I lose him? Wow, Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. Yep. See if you can approach him Bro, I did from that. Behind. That way, your footsteps will be quieter. It must be difficult not being able to float. If you're Shut anxious up, to find Prince, why not coax him to you with some fish? Kick okay, Paimon, you can shut up now. You can shut up now. Okay, Princey. Oh. Okay, we're gonna sneak up on him from the behind. So let's get up here. Let's go this way. Crouch. No, no, no. Crouch. Get him. Get the cat! I got the cat! <laughs> I got the cat! I got the cat! Margaret, you better pay me handsomely for that. I got your cat. 
Where did you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. We definitely had our work cut out for us looking for... Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Van T. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic they would turn up. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, <coughs> Apologies. <laughs> At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 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 <laughs> nice. Oh, I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. A day in the life of Jean really is hard work. Wonder how mm -hmm. she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. How are you? Hi, Barbara. We're back. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. Is she taller than me? What the heck? How is Jean doing? Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's great news! Let's go and see her! But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Where? The oh, tree. that huge yeah. tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. Jean is still recovering, right? Will she be okay out there on her own in her condition? That's what I'm worried about, too. But I still have work to do here. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the animal Archon protect you. And Jean. Okay. Let's go to the tree. Girl, what are you doing after bed rest? Climbing a tree. I don't know if she's climbing it, but... Walking out all the way over here. Because, I don't know, do the Genshin characters actually use the teleports? Or is that just something that um, they don't know about? Because, like, they know about the statues, but what about the teleports? They make life much easier. Just saying. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. Huh? What up? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? You can always rely on the other knights and us. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise... How can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? Crystal fly, the protector okay. That Vanessa was. We just got crystal fly bombed. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first grandmaster, a kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Favonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Fang Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight, and yet as fierce as the Lion Fang Knight. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, 
But I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. Actually, dandelion, dandelion night suits you. Paimon thinks so too. I like that title better. Huh? Jean? Who's there? Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Caught red handed. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. <clears throat> Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. Why don't you Stop. let me finish it? <coughs> oh my god. Okay, first of all, let me just say, some of these old quests, I really would like to see Hoyoverse come in and fix them up, because there's some issues, like, it just, like, cut out the entire dialogue there. After him! <coughs> Jean, you're still recovering! Uh, you should go back and rest. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, it's a chest. I do trust you. But to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. There's a chest back there. Do I have to go get this guy right now? No. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna go get the chest real quick. That's a little bit more important to me, because if I don't get it right now, I will never get it again. Because I have really bad memory. And that is not a lie. Give me that. This should Thank cover you. food and rent for a while. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. We need to go up here anyways. Right here? Oh, right here. Domain time. Okay, okay, I see you. What is my current party lower? Oh, is it because I have, uh, Farina in there? <laughs> and, uh, obviously because of the walkthrough, I can't level her up. Oh, hey. I see you. I'm gonna get you. Come here. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's do this first. Oh, God. Are you hurt? Oh. oh. Darn him and his traps. This is for Jean. How badly are you hurt? Oh. One of my own being injured because of me is the last thing I would wish for. Let me handle this alone. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We are coming too. <sighs> okay, but before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion breeze. Thanks. You're amazing. Thank you, Jean. Barbados, guide us. Oh, I love that so much. I love that so much. See, that's why I really love Jean, because she she's obviously a healer, but she can also be a good DPS. And there's a chest over here, so let's actually... Yeah. Go! Yeah. Oh. I love doing that, that's so fun. Go as one! For the longest time, actually, I didn't know what she said there. Go as one! Does not sound like go as one. Okay. Oh, I have to hit them into the water? What the heck? Shine down. I don't want to do that. I'm better at using animal. More Electro than Animo. Sorry. <laughs> what is in here, though? Did I get- oh, chest. Chest. We'll take that. Switch so to Jean. I really want Jean on this account. I have Jean leveled on my other account, and she's really good over there. So I would love to have another Jean. Dang, do not even kill him. Okay, you know what? 
I don't even care about these guys. Oh my god. Illusion shattered. Me not going to listen to what the game wants me to do. Me do what me want to do. Me do what me want to do. Do I have to hit this? Or do I have to wait? Maybe I just have to wait? Mona, you could focus. Can I... Okay, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Wind, hear me. Wind. I just wish that her ult grouped people up. That's the one problem I have with Jean. Shine down. Because Venti groups people up. I like the animal characters who group up characters because it makes it easier to hit for me. Okay, where you at? Where you at? Yeah. Now you shall perish. There is yeah. no escape. Let me scry. Shadows of Get out of here. Okay, Jean. Boo boo. Yeet. Goodbye. Come on. Shattered. Illusion shattered. Get these guys out of here. Don't get frostbite. Don't get frostbite. Get out of here, dude. Oh shoot! Oh shit! <laughs> Whoopsies! I fell off. Oh my god! Come here. Thank you. Okay, that gets them out of here. Whew. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes. I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she's not upset with me. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to Mondstadt. Where does it want us to go? I'm gonna go to the cathedral. That's where I'm gonna go, at least. My headphones are saying battery low, so I might have to plug them up soon. Even though I really don't want to, because they lose the shiny. The shininess gets lost whenever I plug them up. These things, honestly, I should probably buy a, a new pair or something, because I did break these ones, by the way. <laughs> um, I accidentally sat on it, and I broke it, but anyway, um, I should probably buy new ones, because they only have four hours of charge, not even four hours. So that really sucks, not gonna lie. Like, four hours of charge is not enough time, especially when you stream. Like, that's just not enough time. They do not hold a charge. Scry the sky. Okay, she is out here. Okay, let me plug up. Oh my god, would you stop saying battery low in my ear? Not that you guys can hear, but um, I'm going to plug up my headphones real quick. Because they are getting annoying. Just smacked my mic. Okay. Where's the hole? And we've got to find the hole. Oh my god. There you go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they always... They don't glow anymore when I plug my headphones up, but... That sucks. Master, you finally returned. The Animal Archon protects you. Why did my light go out? Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... Has there been a bar fight? We'll go, Jean needs rest. Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... Alright, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grandmaster. Huh? Well... If you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow.
Oh, now he's dumping things onto Jean. Wow. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? Shall we? Oh, she's running. She's running. Dang, Jean running. Girl, you just ran the wrong way. I had to fix my light because uh, in order to keep it on the purple, I have to let it circle through the colors and then hold it down for a second. <laughs> then I wanted to go ahead and make sure my light looks good for the end of this quest. I don't know when the light stopped working, but that's stupid. Stupid. Well, bar fight? Oh! <gasps> Did they throw a feast for Jean? Aww! Jean party! Oh, what's all this? Jean party! It's a thank you party for you! A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. Oh. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy yourself, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh, Jean? I, uh, huh? Is this Jean when she's shy? Oh. I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... this is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. He's a workaholic. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well... What about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. He's right there. You can thank Speaking him yourself. Of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. Me? See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. I mean, did you say he? Do I look like Aether to you? Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. Do I look like Aether to you? So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Kaya. <laughs> think I'm my brother or something. Uh, this thing's a lot. All those last minute urgent orders, it was you all. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc. All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute. A spirited and cheerful party it is looks underway. Like everyone seems to be partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Told me to go oh, find Jean. Paimon she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Oh yeah, let's go talk to her. Jean. Jean. Where'd you go? She need to get some air or something? She seemed a little bit shy back there. Jean. Oh, it is you. There you are. Are you having a good time? Yes, I am just 
getting some air. Uh-oh. It seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. Actually, I knew nothing about this the whole time. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion fang knight. The lion fang knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. Jean, Vanessa would be so proud of who you are right now. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Oh, okay. So that was Jean's quest. All right. Well, that is end of Jean's quest, YouTube. If you stuck around the whole time, please remember to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, YouTube.